current motor I have right now, hydraulic pump unit by Stone. I've had a lot of trouble with it lately, and even when I first bought the trailer. So I'm gonna change it out for the uh, for the uh, KTI hydraulic pump unit. Here it is. I bought it from Nationwide Trailers. So I got the old motor out already. Now it's time to put in the new one. So here's the new hydraulic pump. I went ahead and stopped by a uh, hydraulic hose place to pick up these fittings. They're the ones for port A and port B, right here. So I have to install those before I go ahead and, and put the pump on my frame. Got the fittings on. So to secure the tank, it comes with two, two holes in the bottom. That way it doesn't move at all. Now that the hydraulic pump is secure, I will connect my positive and negative wires. Positive goes here and the negative goes right here. Grounds connect them out to the trailer down here. And my positive. So here are the instructions on how to connect the hydraulic lines. Port A, those connected on this end of the piston, and port B on this end of the piston. So this one here is port A. So now this one here is the lines that come from the top of the piston. This one's going to port B right down here. The 
This sucks, there's no space here. So there it is, I just connected port A, port B, positive, ground, here's the old remote, you have to connect all the wires separately, and the new one's pretty cool, it's like a quick connect, it has three pieces to it, the one that's connected to the motor, then it connects to this long extension, and then here's the third piece. For just the remote so here's the cable to the remote i guess i'll just run it in through here and here's the here's the other piece So now, I can just wrap my cord around here, like I had on my other one. Man, this one's way longer though. So now I can connect my batteries back up and then test it out. batteries connected I do have two batteries since this is a roll-off trailer now both the batteries are connected Gotta add some hydraulic fluid. So I did buy RW46 hydraulic oil. Got two gallons, not sure if we'll use all of it. Uh, right now. That's a six quart reservoir.
So we filled up with a gallon and a half. Hopefully the reservoir is enough for, for the pistons. The guy did mention that I might need a, a bigger one, a 13 quart. Hopefully not. We'll try it out and see. So I have a positive and negative coming from the trailer. And I have one coming from the batteries on my truck. So I'm going to turn the truck on right now just so I can uh, start charging my batteries. Nationwide trailers told me to go up and down a couple times just to get all the air out of it. 